Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that will be uploading. Thank you. Thank you for joining us once again on this channel. I want to appreciate you for following us and checking us on our videos from time to time. And thank you for all the comments you've been sending in. Thank you for all the feedbacks. We intend to improve on what we are delivering. Today, we are going to look at one more example on determining, calculating, and estimating correlation coefficients. And as you can see on the board, we already have a, our example to work with. Follow me as we solve this problem together. Here, we look, we're looking at example four. And this example, the question says, the table below shows the rate of beer consumption and the number of accidents on our highways between 2010 and 2019. The question is determine the correlation coefficient. Here we're looking at the table. We have the year 2010 all through to 2019. And then we have the beer consumption. The beer consumption will be represented by X and then our number of accidents represented by Y. So let's now solve this problem together. Normally, what would we do? We have a solution here. So we represent our X and Y in our table. I will generate the product of X and Y. We now have X squared and Y squared, those three, and then we have five, um, five summations. With five summations, we can now solve for our correlation coefficient. So let's start with this. We have X here. And then we have y also to extend this to accommodate others. So we're now putting our figures. So we have 70, 63, 72, 60, 66, 70, 74, 65, 62, and then. All right, then we have 67. We have 67. Then our y values with number of accidents will be 135, 150, 180, 135, 156, 165, 178, 160. 132 and then we have 145. So our task is to find the correlation and the direction of the correlation, how strong and whether it is positive or whether it is inverse. So we now determine our x and y. That's x times y. So let's multiply these values and what we have here. The first one is 9450, that's 70 times 135. The next one, 63 times 150, we have 9450 also. So the next one is 72 times 180, we have 12,960. The next one is um, 81. 100, 8,100. Next one is 10,296. I want to really encourage you to follow me with your calculator and solve along so that you can confirm what we're doing here. Now, next one, 70 times 165, we have 11,550. 
Then the next one is 13,172. The next one is 10,400. The next one is 8,184. And the last but not the least, 67 times 145 will give us 9,715. That's what we have. The next thing we do is to determine our x squared. So that's the square of these values. And the square of these values given as follows. 4,900, 3,969. The next one is 5,184. The next one, square of 60, will give us 36. 100 and 66 square will give us 4,356. The next one, 70 square, is going to give us 4,900. Then 74 square is going to give us 5,476. The 65 square will give us 4,225. 62 square is going to give us 3,844. Last but not the least, 67 square will give us 4,489. So that's what we have, 4,489. The next column, then last, will be our y square. We'll find the square of our y values. So and um, what would that give us square of one third? 135 is going to give us 118,225. Square of 150 is going to give us 22,500. The square of 180 is going to give us 324,00. The square of 135 is giving us 18,225. The square of uh, 156, square 156 is giving us 24,336. Okay, the square of 150, 165 is giving us 27,225. The square of 178 is giving us 31,684. Okay, the square of um, 160 is giving us 25,600. The square of 62, I mean the square of 132 is giving us 17,424. And the square of 145 is giving us 21,025. So this is what we have. The last thing we do is to, not, uh, to, to find the summation of these values. The summation of these values. Now the sum of x should give us 669 as the sum of x. How about the sum of y? The sum of y should give us 1536. How about the sum of x and y? x times y. Um, is giving us 103,277. That's what it's giving us. How about the square of um, the square of x square? I mean, this summation of x square is giving us um, 4, 44,943. Okay. Then the square of y, the I mean sum of y, the y squared is giving us 238,644. That's what we have. So these are the values we are going to work with in determining the correlation coefficient. These are the values we are going to use in determining the correlation coefficient. So let's move to the side of the board. Um, I think I've created some more space for me to work with here. So right here, I'm going to write 
the formula for determining correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient is done by small r, small r. So that the formula is n times summation of x, y minus summation of x times summation of y. That's what we have divided by the square roots, the so long square roots of n times the summation of x squared minus summation of x all squared close bracket and you open another one the product of the two so that you have n times summation of y squared um, minus summation of y all squared I, I trust with these videos you've had you've gotten yourself familiar with the formula familiar with formula in the sense that you have x on one side and y on the other side take note of the groupings that were done please look at the previous videos that you see the pattern and you get used to it all right now we now have to use um, the values we, we got from the from from our table to fill in to this formula so right now we want to find r r will now be n n will be what let's count the number of entries we have from here of one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten. Ten will be n. N will be ten times the sum summation of x y. Summation of x y in this um, question is uh, ten. One hundred and three. One hundred and three. Two seven seven. That's what we have. Minus summation of x is six. 6, 9 times summation of y is um, 1, 5, 3, 6. I, I trust you're getting where these figures from. They are all from this table, especially the, the, the total, the summation of this table. That's what we got this one. This one. So we now move to divided by, we now have the square root, the long one. So 10 will still be here. So, uh, Summation x squared, that is this one, that's um, 4, 44, 9, 4, 3, and we'll, we cover this. So um, we have this minus, no, this one over here. So we have this minus, we have summation of uh, I mean, x all squared, that's 6, 6, Sorry, 669 all squared. Then we have all this in brackets. I'll open another bracket. We have 10 again. And then what's the summation of y squared? We have uh, 2, 3, 8, 6, 4, 4 minus summation of y is 1536 all square so it's some you have the square root following it covering it like a pattern so we have equal to this times this this should give us um a one million and thirty two thousand seven seven zero okay minus the product of these two should give us one zero two seven five eight four that's what we have divided by we have a square root here again and 10 times this should give us um four 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 nine four three zero okay minus the square of six six nine will give us four four seven five six one okay this will be in bracket we we'll open another bracket here so that was this 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 product of this should um give us two million somewhere three eighty six thousand four four zero minus the square of this this will give us two 
million three five nine two nine six so this one should give us all right we now bring out this again we'll see continuing our solution this value minus this value this should give us five one eight nine divided by we'll still continue with our square root we're not done with this we'll find these values so this value minus this value that should give us um one eight six nine okay times let's, let's reduce this a little okay times two seven one four four that's what we have we'll see continue with our solution we'll bring down five one eight nine and then we'll find what this value is um, 1869 times 27144 that should give us um, 15 million 15 million 732 and then we have 136 so let's find the, the square root the square root of um, this value here should give us 518 divided by 7122.64 all right can you recall what i told you when you get to this stage of your solution can you remember your denominator the one under should be greater than your numerator because that will ensure that you have a fraction that will ensure that you have a decimal so your correlation coefficient is usually between um, 0 and 1 and 0 and minus 1. So it's usually a fraction. So now we're, we're on course on this, point, on this point. So if we find the ratio of this, which is the what is our R value, that will give us um, that will give us 0 0.729 thereabouts. So which is approximately 0 0.73 so our r value our r value is this what we have as our r value is, is this now how about determining the r square our r square which is the coefficient of determination will be finding the square of this value and this will give us 0 0.53 or 0 0.529 then we're rounding up to 0 0.53 so this is the answer to the question that we have on the board i want you to look through it very well go through the video again and get yourself prepared for your exams thank you